is the not so good one. Okay, so good and not so good. So this is with the smooth skin retouch and this is without. Hey guys, it is Crano Arts here from TGN Art and today uh, I'm starting a new series called uh, Image Retouching and today in the first series I will be showing you guys how to create really nice looking smooth skin in Photoshop CS5 okay so first of all what you want to go and do is open up your image um, save it as blonde woman. okay okay so here I have um, an image of this uh, young lady over here okay and as you can see um, there are uh, her skin isn't that um, smooth to be honest so we're just gonna fix that and make it look really cool okay so uh, what you want to do is come down here so if I zoom into the corner you want to double click on your first layer which is locked and name it whatever you want I'll just put it on main image and then hit OK and then what you want to do next is simply right click on the layer and go to duplicate layer and you can save that as whatever you want as well okay so now um, you've got two layers you want to select the top one and then you want to do three things to this one the first one is go to filter and then go to sharpen and then smart sharpen and when you're in smart sharpen you'll get a little preview and if you think it looks a bit weird don't worry because it's supposed to look like this 100% okay so amount should be set to 100 and then you want the radius to be 1.5 and then remove to be on Gaussian blur okay so now once you've done that you just want to click OK and then after that you want to go to filter again then go to stylize and then diffuse okay so once you're here on diffuse you'll get another preview again uh, you just want to make sure it is on this one which is called anisotropic uh, handful. <laughs> uh, okay, then just click OK. Okay, so now once you've done that, features look a lot more better, skin looks a lot more smoother. Uh, you just want to do one more last thing now, which is in filter again. You want to go to blur, and then you want to go to surface blur. And what surface blur does, well, it will just um, smooth smoothen the skin so nicely to give it that really nice um, kind of airbrushed effect. And you want to have the radius on 5 pixels and the threshold on 15. Any more than 15, it'll start to look um, seriously fake. Okay, so now here is the outcome at the moment. Um, so what you want to do next is you want to come down to here. Make sure you're still selected on the top layer. You want to hold this little thing, which is half black, half white hold it down and go to curves and when your curves opens up you want to um, simply um, when it's on default you just want to bring this top bit of the line up a little bit to enhance the brightness of the image and then the bottom part of the line you want to drag that down just a little bit just so it highlights some other little shadowy bits like the hair for instance and now once you've done that uh, set on R RGB you just want to bring the little drop down menu and go to red and then uh, you can bring up the red just a little bit and from the bottom like so drag it down a little bit just so it contrasts each little bit of the skin tone of the body okay so now once you've done that you need to um, simply uh, get the two layers by holding um, a shift and copy the curves layer and the main image copy hold them together and then right click and then merge layers now once you've done that um, I can show you the difference between the two images if I just hide that layer you can see that it doesn't look too good now but when I put it on you can see how smooth the image looks and it just makes the image look so much more better okay so if I was to save this image let's just save it okay let's just save this as um, uh, BW for London okay let that save and if I put the curves on now 
and then save this um, BW2 then you can see the difference between them two uh, if I find them, here they are and this one okay, so now here's the um, here's the good quality image and here's the not so good one okay, so good and not so good so this is with the smooth skin retouch and this is without okay, so Thank you guys, this has been Cranowatts from TGN. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the TGN Art channel and subscribe to my personal channel as well. So, thank you, peace out.